I'm in my symbol library and I need to make another symbol uh, for a tree that I don't have. You can kind of see that I have them here in alphabetical order. And my corcus in the Q's, and I don't know why that says A, we'll make that a Q. And I have uh, the Salix here, this is Salix alba, Salix nigra. Um, so this is how I have my trees organized so that I can find them um, by scientific name. Um, right now, I'm going to change that to a Q, which would seem to make a lot of sense. Um, and um, so I need to add to this um, a populus tremuloides, and that's going to be in P, and that's going to be PT. I don't have a PT in here yet. And so what I can do is look for a tree. I'm going to make a tree that is 30 feet wide and 60 feet tall. So I'm using my ellipse tool, clicking once, and this is all at 20 scale. So we're doing one and a half inches by one and a half inches. Click OK, and there's my 30 foot wide tree. Now I'm going to switch these lines so I have a black outer line here, and on my inside, I have my foliage colors, and I'm just going to make it a uh, select this, make this a decent color green, usually pretty dark, pretty intense. Maybe I want to make it a little lighter because of the, you know, the quaking aspen is actually pretty a light leaf, but I'm also going to screen it back some so I don't want to lose, you know, too much of that color. Um, these get to all be very similar after a while. Then go to my appearance, change my fill to about 27 percent. And I think that will work. Click off of that. Um, the other thing you can also do now in this page, uh, I have a lot of these already made. So when I'm making a lot of symbols, I already have these ready-made ones. You only have to do this once. It says uh, the width that it is. It also has the letters in here. So I can either grab it by the width and drag it over um, using the uh, selection tool. And then if I use the option tool, I can drag and make another one. And that's the one that I'm going to change into the plant that I want. <coughs> or we can just make a new one like I did here. Right, so this is uh, going to be my uh, populus tremuloides here. So I'm going to bring that up to the P's. Now, uh, I haven't made this a symbol yet. This is just artwork on it. The rest of these symbols from the symbol library over here. Okay, so this is also a 60 foot tree. So we're going to put it over this area. So I can put it right in line with my other heights that are in here. You can see what it says 50, 55, 100 foot. Um, actually, I should reorder those, sort by name, and get these all uh, get all in order. If you sort them by name, then you'll have all your heights in order. You can find the different height trees and still have their common and their scientific name. And the symbol will be sized to the spread. So um, I'm also going to take uh, the text tool, or I could even just drag. Oop, I can't drag a symbol, though, can I? So i got to use the text tool. And I'm going to go PT, kind of small, so we're going to make that uh, a little bit bigger. And the top, there's a little place we can make that a bigger line. We're also going to thin it out to make it a, a light type. Put in here for the tree, looking a little big, so we'll make it small. We want to keep it just proportional to the tree. We're also going to add our period in the middle, our little dot in the middle. So we know um, that it's a new tree, right? And then using the black tool, select the whole thing. And down here, we know it's 60 feet tall. So we're going to bring it down here. And this is a quaking aspen. So you might as well put it after the, the oak tree there. Drag the whole thing down in here, put it underneath it, and it wants us to name it. And so we're gonna, we know that this is a 30-foot wide tree, 30 feet, dash, and in our case, we're getting better at this, is aspen, which is what it really is. It's a quaking aspen. Um, and Populus 
Lupus tremuloides. There we go. Oops, and this should be capitalized there. Lowercase there. And now it's in here. This is our new symbol we have just made. So the last thing I'm going to do is bring this down into my order here. And I have added a quaking aspen to my plant library. And now I can save this. And now this new symbol will be saved to the file. And I can save my symbol library down here when I'm done. Save those symbols. You can see all the different ones that we have down here. Here's the tree symbol library here. But I can save the symbols as a new uh, symbol library when I'm finished and name it whatever I want at that point. In this case, we're just leaving it as a symbol, the tree symbol library as the name of the file, and I can go find it that way also and just basically steal this symbol library from this piece of artwork. So we've added Quaking Aspen as our new plant symbol.